Today we're talking to St Albans City Manager Ian Allenson at Marsh Lane where the Saints gone down to a second successive National League South defeat, 2-1 away to Oxford City. We finished Tuesday's game very poorly in that second half in. We started this first half again today tepidly. The second half saw a slight improvement but overall wasn't good enough. No, I think you're dead right, David. I think we were we were disappointed, today, especially first half. There was no energy about us. There was no. Um, we didn't want to get hold of the ball. We didn't want to pass it quick. We took too long. Took too, you know, we, it was just one one of them games. I felt we were just not at the races. It looked like. Funny enough, we watched the, the Oxford Torquay game, and Torquay looked exactly the same, it like leggy, and I felt we were leggy first half, but there was no energy about us when the ball went off, we took our time, we gave the ball away cheap, we, we, we just didn't really look like we was at the races. We got into them a little bit half time, got them to do things much quicker, and I felt until we got the goal, we'd, we'd done really well, as Ains had obviously a great chance. We, we've caused them some problems, got the equaliser, and I actually thought we'd go on and win it. And been 10 minutes again, we've sat off from the game, we've allowed them space, and we haven't gone with a runner. And you know, we're, we're very quick this year to blame the, the, the defence, but unfortunately, I think midfield today we didn't go with runners, we didn't we didn't track runners, and the eights run off again for the second time, uh, and got in, and he's picked his spot and won the game for them. Yes, we come back and hit the crossbar, and we've had one or two other chances, but. We're chasing the game then, and that's that's disappointing because we shouldn't be able to chasing the game as we was today. Because I felt, you know, we, we, we should have been in the game much better than what we was towards that last sort of 10, 15 minutes. Creativity just doesn't seem to be there. Everyone can blame the forwards. Well, they got 10 goals in five games, not a bad return. But today they didn't look threatening. But is it what's coming from behind them isn't good enough? I think you're right. I think we have to look at. We spoke there about getting the ball out to the wing backs. We spoke there about the quality of the balls into the box. Um, we, we 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 tended to go from back to front too quick in the first half in terms of just trying to hit Merce and Moyo, where we, we we had opportunities to get the ball out to the to the wing backs. I said at half time, I felt three or four players were trying to dribble with the ball too much. They were taking too long. I restricted them at half time. I said you can only play three touch second half. Because I felt we was having eight, nine, ten touches in the, in the first half. Everybody wanted to just see, they had a lot of time, but they're having too many touches. We have to shift the ball quicker. And we were allowing them to get bodies back behind the, the ball. And when we put the ball in the box, you know, they were, they were dominant. They were better than us on the day. And uh, I have to say, they deserved the win in the end. You said about us looking leggy, taking too many touches on the ball. Maybe this pitch, where you expect a true roll on a plastic pitch, it's a bit slow. It's got those... Black nodules on well, it, it seems to slow it down. I think we had two incidents there where I think Dean's called for the ball with balls over the top and both times they never got to him. Um, uh, one in the first half and one in the second half because um, I think you expect it to slide off. It doesn't, it actually stops. And I think there's a bit of an advantage there in terms of they train on this and they play on this every week so they know the strengths and the weaknesses of the pitch but I can't use that as an excuse today, David, because I, as I say, I just didn't think we were at the races um, in terms of us closing them down, working them hard enough and working the ball quick enough. I thought we were second best all over the park for the majority of the game. As I say, just before we scored, we got on top. Um, I just felt there was a bit more of a, uh, a front foot movement. We seemed to be playing a bit more on energy. We, we should have scored just before there with, with, with Zane, as I say. We got the corner, scored from there. And then I actually thought we would go on and get something out of the game. And it's so disappointing to stand here now and and, and, and lost the game and see so many supporters turn up today and, and, and for me they've not had a value for money today the supporters I think I think myself you know the coaching staff and the supporters have let the let the supporters down today because we we didn't perform to an, a level a level that I, I think is acceptable at St Albans and that's that's a worry from my point of view because we have to be better than that and I don't think we're very good today you made changes today one would imagine it's going to be more again next week at home to Eastbourne well, unfortunately, we made changes because um, David Noble was back fit. Um, Richard Show Silver has obviously came in and, and he, he came through okay for 15, 20 minutes the other day. Um, and then, you know, we went with Merce and, and Moyo up front. I just thought they could have given him a little bit more of a test, but as you say, we didn't really get good quality into them today. It didn't give them an opportunity. And obviously Ben Hurd come back in as, as, as a wing-back role in terms of the right side of it. So but we just there just wasn't that energy with us today. There was no there was no power pace. I think last week we see Solomon bursting past midfield players and setting things up. Today we just couldn't do that. We, we it, it was a difficult pitch to to run on, and we didn't seem to be able to run on it. And I think even some of their players at times you know struggled on it. There wasn't 
wasn't a great amount of opportunities in terms of openings but as I say on the day they took the two chances they got I think they got three they had one in the first half and then they got the penalty late on so you know, perhaps I'm you know being unrealistic in terms of they got f f four really good chances the last one you know we were chasing the game there where, where Tom's got caught wrong side of the game but as I say I'm just really disappointed standing here at the moment and probably the wrong time to be talking to me exactly at this time because I haven't felt like this for a long long time and I just feel that that, you know, we're looking for excuses all the time and there is no excuses, we've just not been good enough there is no energy, we have to seriously look at what we're doing in terms of our shape, in terms of the personality we've got in that squad and in the changing room and I have to, might have to make some massive decisions over the next week or two to maybe change one or two players and change the shape if we have to go back, I don't want to, I want to play two up front as I've said it, but we have to have good quality into them and we have to defend better but that's defending from the front, midfield and the back, you know, we've been very critical of the back three or four at times this year I mean, they've got the penalty in the last couple of minutes there when we're playing a four at the back. So, you know, you've got to defend better. You know, we don't get opportunities like they've got today um, in terms of we have to work for everything we get. We have to work hard for our goal. As you said, we've scored ten goals in five games, which is great. Two a game. We've conceded too many, game, too many goals. And, you know, Dean's made a wonderful save there on the penalty. He could have quite easily been three goals again today so we have to seriously think about what we're doing look at what we're doing work hard in training on Tuesday and Thursday and then make a decision where we are when we go into next Saturday's game. You talk about the shape of the side one looks back to last season when you had Sean Lucy and, and uh, Rhys Morrell Williamson when they were on form they were exciting to watch but also we saw plenty of days when they weren't but we haven't got that sort of excitement in the side at the moment. No well I felt first game of the season we did as I say and I felt even at, at um, you know Western last week I mean it could have been 10 or at Western last week um, and it's unfortunate as I said before you can't you know we, we're going to be one of them teams that's going to have to break everything up at the end of each year if if our players perform to a level of what they did last year with you know certainly with Kieran Monlui and, and Rhys Morrell Williams and you know, teams are going to look at them, teams are going to take them off as if they've got an opportunity of progressing. Players want to progress, you know, the one thing with Sean, Will Sean Lucian, I invited him back but I felt I needed to see more on a consistent basis from him because you're right, we did see some really good performances from Sean but, you know, we need him every single week, every single game. We can't afford to have one or two good games and then three or four bad games. And that was the reason why I said come back and show me what you can do in pre-season. Reese, we was always going to be under pressure because there was a lot of interest in Reese last year. Um, but we also have to look at some of the players that we retained from last year who probably haven't reached them heights that they did last year. So it's OK saying the players we've lost. We've got to look at the players we've brought in. We've got to look at the squad that we've got. I think, as I've said it and I'll say it again, I think we've got a very good squad here, but for some reason we're just not really getting it right. You know, as I say, I've got to go away and look at myself in the mirror and find out what I need to do to be slightly different. We might have to set up slightly different. We might have to do things better than what we've done but you know everybody has to come to the table on this one if not as I say you know I might have to make some big decisions very quickly and a few of the players might have to go and we're going to have to try and bring Bretter in and we're going to do the jobs we require them to do but at the moment there was two players out there today didn't do their jobs well enough I'm not saying that the energy wasn't there in terms of what they're trying but we wasn't sharp enough we wasn't bright enough we wasn't good enough on the ball we didn't pass the ball and when we did, we, we didn't get it back very quickly. And for me, the second goal just sums up there. They've got the 10, 12 passes. We didn't go and press them. We've allowed them to have the touches on the ball. And in the end, just one ball slid through between six or seven defenders. One person hasn't gone with a midfield runner and, and we're undone. And that's disappointing because, as I say, we've worked extremely hard after a very poor first half to get back in the game. And I, I, know, I really thought we'd go on and win the game in the second half. And unfortunately, we've fallen, fallen short on that one. You could be without David Dijo for a little while. Well, he we went to the hospital again yesterday. Um, they're still saying four to six weeks, so it's not even two weeks till Tuesday. So, yeah, it looks like we could probably lose him till, till September time. Hopefully, Ben Wyatt will be back fit for next week. Um, but as I say, you know, we can't make excuses at the end of the day. You know, it's not about player personnel. It's, it's the personnel we had on the pitch today uh, and the personnel we had today were, haven't been good enough. Um, we can blame shape as much as you lot, but it's 11 against 11 and you've got to go and out-fight out, out and out-battle and out-stay and out, and out stay the opposition and we haven't done that today. In the end, they've, they've, they've been ravaged with injuries during the game. Their goalkeeper got, sub got changed and went and played up front and, uh, as I said there, we, 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 we just let ourselves down big time today and I'm bitterly disappointed. I'm disappointed for the supporters because they were magnificent again today. They tried to get behind the team. They helped us when we got back to one order, making loads of noise at one order. 
but for me, I don't think we've given value for, for money today, and that's disappointing. And I've let the players know at the end of the day. Myself, as I say, myself, Glenn, and the coaching staff, and and the players, I've got to I've got to do better. I've got to do more. We've got to react to to what's happened over the last five days. And as I say, if players don't want to react and don't want to buy into what we're trying to do, then then we're going to have to move some players on and bring some players in that will buy in what we're trying to do. And that's disappointing because, as I say, I do believe in this squad, but. At the moment, we're not we're not coming together as a group in terms of little fractions. We might not want to buy into what we're trying to do, and that, that's disappointing from that side of it. Lovely, thanks very much, Ian. So, Saints next in action next Saturday, uh, the 25th of August, home to Eastbourne Borough National League South. Kick off at Clarence Park is at 3 p.m.